Hi, I'm Stan DeFritis, Mr. Green Thumb for AskMrGreenThumb.com. Growing roses and grafting them. A lot of people like the idea of trying to graft a rose. And it's really no more difficult than grafting most other plants. You're going to need a good pair of cutters. You're going to need a good sharp knife. And you'll need some type of, of material like this to tie the rows together. Typically what we're going to do is come into the base of the plant, which we're going to call the rootstock. We take our knife and we make a sawing area right down the middle. This is called the cleft graft. Then we're going to take our other piece, the piece that we really like, maybe it's a different kind of rose, and we're going to put that rose or scion, which is what we call the top part of the rose, and we put the two together. Once you split it, you make your kind of a narrow cut on either side so we have a lot of cambium area for those two to go together. Once you have those two united and you think you've got good cambium contact, you're going to go ahead and take your material like this and just kind of tie it together. Just kind of string it around there and go ahead and make a little knot if you want. Or if you can take some uh, wax, which is what we used to do in the old days, you'd melt the paraffin, put it when it's just kind of mildly hot, and then pour it over the plant. You can do that. I find just tying it in is probably adequate. For AskMrGreenThumb.com, I'm Stan DeFritis.